Once you're logged into the computer, go to Canvas, go to your dashboard, scroll down to the Fab Lab 2020 LVC session. We'll be focusing on the MakerBot Method 3D printer. Left click on Grafton Logo Assembly Keychain. Click on the Download Grafton Logo Assembly Keychain with a single left click. You'll notice in the lower left it is downloaded. Left click on the arrow, select Open. There's your keychain. Now we're not going to use the Print 3D for our purposes, so we're going to close this window. We're going to minimize our canvas window and we're going to go into the file folder shown in your desktop. On the left side, you're going to see downloads. And we're going to select the Grafton Logo, logo Assembly Keychain, left click hold, and drag it out onto your desktop. We can close out the download folder. Now if we double click on it, it's going to show up the same Print 3D. What we want to do is incorporate it with our MakerBot method. Double click on MakerBot Print. You'll need to sign up to use the MakerBot Print. Since I already have an account, I'm going to log in and move forward. You can pause the video here after you hit sign up and continue with the video once you've created a username and password. After you've entered your username or password, hit log in. You want to come down here to select a printer and fly up. You'll see that our MakerBot method 2 is idle. And we can hit select. You'll notice there's a little camera in the MakerBot method. If you want, you can uh, download an app on your phone called MakerBot Print and you can watch your print live as it runs through its uh, through its system. I'm going to minimize this by left clicking on that arrow. The Grafton Logo Assembly Keychain, I'm going to left click and hold and drag it onto my platform. Now currently I'm going to maximize the screen. Currently, it's a very large keychain. We're going to scale it down by using this bottom icon. It's going to be uniform scaling, so any one I change here, it's going to all it's going to change all of them. I'm going to type in 40%. When I left click in another field, you can see that it's scaled down. Now there's other things that I can do. I can orientate, I can flip it up, down, depending on what your print is. I can also click hold and drag it about the platform. Don't put it over this shaded box here. That is going to be a purge block. The MakerBot method will come over, do a print, come over and purge some plastic and then come back and go over another layer. Working up, you can arrange more than one item on the platform. This particular keychain is going to take about a half an hour. What I'm doing is holding my right mouse button down and I'm manipulating the screen. You can see that it's a very thin keychain and it's not that big. It's about two inches by two inches, maybe inch and a half, inch and a half. I actually didn't measure it after I scaled it. So to take a half an hour on something that's so small, 
uh, we have to make sure that we're really using these machines for something specific uh, and not just uh, not just printing to print. The print settings are if you are going to be loading different uh, different filament. So this is nothing we have to worry about. And then the information, the units currently don't matter. But if you wanted to change it to inches, which of course it would be extremely large converting from millimeters. So we're going to toggle back to millimeters. You can be able to estimate the time also with this icon. And even time takes a little bit. And it tells you exactly how it's going to form. And that it's going to be done today at 529, estimated time 37 minutes. That being said, why don't we hit print? Make sure you have enough time to print it. What it's doing currently is heating up the extruders and raising the platform until it reaches the actual extruders. And it'll touch off and back up a little bit, home out, and wait into its position. Until it's completely heat up. So we have to heat one extruder to 210 degrees and the other extruder to 160 degrees. Enjoy watching your print. Please watch the next video on how to create something for your classroom. Once your print is done, lift the flexible tray out, bend the tray just a little bit, and peel your keychain off. Replace the tray. ready to go for the next print. With the keychain, there's a raft on the back, so there's dissolvable material right between this material here and your actual piece. So, the easiest thing to do is peel it right off. Now you have a nice clean back your keychain.